live from our seven Tasmania studios. Your nightly news with Rachel Williams begins now. Good evening everyone. It's been a horror week for our state's firefighters battling out of control blazes across the state. The Tasmania Fire Service says this week's bushfires should serve as a wake-up call for residents. They joined forces with the SES for an information session at Swansea this morning, urging locals to get their properties bushfire ready. The state's emergency services are on high alert after a week of unseasonal bushfires tore through parts of the state. But they say time is running out for you to get prepared. It's, it's nearly too late to start thinking. If you haven't started preparing now, it's, it's getting towards Christmas time, so you, you really need to be starting thinking and having that plan in place. Swansea played host to a bushfire expo this morning, arming locals with vital information to survive this bushfire season. Government departments in the Red Cross were on hand to ask questions. The region's transient population making the session even more vital, according to the SES a lot go away for the winter months and then come back for the summer and, and holiday owners and everything else. So we're, they're the ones we really need to target at the moment that, that aren't here all the time. And Firefighters say locals were keen to find out what their options were if the unthinkable occurs. What should we do around, around our house? Um, should we leave or should we stay? All sorts of questions really about, um, uh, about preparing their places. And Mr Stallward is warning Tasmanians to use the week's events and the expo as a learning opportunity, saying many remain unaware of the dangers. People don't still really believe it's not going to happen to them and so we're trying to get the message across. It can happen to everyone and it happens when you don't expect it. John Hunt, 7 Tasmania News. And fire crews have dealt with another bushfire in the south of the state today. TFS crews rushed to Glenfern Road after reports of fire this morning. The blaze was brought under control by crews over the course of the day with no properties placed under immediate threat. Locals in the area are urged to visit the TFS website for further details. Della Rain has turned into an art lover's paradise with hundreds of unique and quirky wares on display at the Tasmanian Craft Fair. Thousands of people are expected to attend the four-day event which attracts visitors from across the state. Brian Pearce may just be the craft fair's biggest fan. The 93-year-old has had a stall every year since it started almost four decades ago. And I enjoy meeting people and talking to them. They all come and talk to me now. I don't have to go and chase them. All the sheepskin products are handmade by Brian himself. The hot water bottle covers and then the beanie hats over there and these woolly dusters, they have been very popular this, this year. Artists like Andy Corson from Mountain River creates quirky lamps from scratch. I see junk and I turn it in my head into something beautiful. And the one thing that I will say about this display, everyone looks at my lamp smiles, including you. It started as a hobby five years ago, but has now taken off with the lamps being shipped overseas. I've made about 300 and they've gone all around the world. They've gone to Europe, to uh, England and to the United States. Even though the plugs don't fit, people still buy them. Around 20,000 people are expected to attend the four-day fair. And our numbers were up yesterday by about 25% on the previous year, so that's all boding well. Fortunately for the organisers, today's rain didn't deter the crowds. Very good. Yeah, we've been coming every year since it started, so, you know, no, it's <laughs> yeah. terrific. It's very interesting, yeah, talking to the people as well, learning about their crafts, and, yeah, it's been really good. The crafty fun continues from 9am tomorrow. Letitia Wallace, 7 Tasmanian News. The Tasmanian Tigers will head into their final day of their Sheffield Shield clash with Victoria, trailing by 107 runs after a rain-affected day of play. While the Tassie Tigers have locked in a Hockey 1 semi-final showdown after closing out their season with a dominant win over Perth. On the hunt for early scalps, Jackson Bird continued his good form with a ball, removing Chris Tremaine on 14. The bottom order collapse continuing, courtesy of Tigers quick Alex Pycroft. Scott Boland providing some resistance for the Bush Rangers before Bird struck again. Riley Meredith then cleaning up the last of the visitors' order to put the home side back at the crease, but it wasn't the start they were hoping for, with opener Alex Doolan sent packing on 16 before the rain set in to delay play. 
It was a complete washout at Burnies West Park with the Hurricanes WBBL clash with the Sydney Thunder scrapped due to weather. Meantime, the Tassie Tigers women's side have finished off their Hockey 1 season on the right note in front of a packed house at the Tasmanian Hockey Centre in Hobart. The home side recovering from an early one-goal deficit against Perth, putting three through the back of the net in a dominant second quarter of play before storming home with two final quarter goals en route to a 5-3 win. Yeah, it's awesome. I think we've progressed every single game and to finish like that and play how we did today, it's, it's a pretty amazing feeling and an awesome way to finish. And the men are set to head into finals brimming with belief after closing out their season with a cruisy win over Perth. The home side was never in doubt, putting on four unanswered goals in front of the Tassie faithful. Yeah, we're always improving. I think the WA came at us that last quarter and we were able to hold them off to a nil scoreline, so um, that's always a good sign. Um, it's going to be tough for selection uh, next week and uh, we'll find out who we play tomorrow. Gridiron season is officially underway in Tasmania, with all four teams from across the state competing in a jam-packed gala day in Launceston. Well, every year we get more and more players. Uh, we're trying to look, look to develop our junior competition as well um, and potentially in, in the year or two to come we'll look at a women's competition. With a record number of players registered across the competition, tournament organisers are predicting the most hotly contested season to date. Good evening. Showers about the west extending to remaining areas from late morning to 3pm. The highest rainfall was 20 millimetres recorded at Mount Reed on the west coast. Hobart reached 21 today, Launceston 23, Burnie and Devonport both 19. Flinders Island reached a top of 21, the low 15 at Strawn, Lyweenie and Smithton. On the satellite, the state covered by high level cloud flowing down from Victoria. Feather field and cloud ban extends into Victoria, New South South Wales and South Australia, patchy high cloud across northern Australia. Tomorrow, a cold front will cross the state with another arriving on the west coast by the evening. A high pressure ridge will push into the bite from WA. Coastal waters and northeast to northwesterly winds at 10 to 20 knots swells to one metre in the north, up to four metres in the west and south. And there is a strong wind warning in place tomorrow from southeast Cape to low Rocky Point. Sunday's forecast now shower for Hobart 20, Richmond 21, ooze a shower also and 20. Partly cloudy tomorrow in Launceston 21, a shower or two for Devonport and Deloraine, both 17. A shower for Burnie 15, Strawn, showers and 17, showers clearing on King Island 16 the top. A fine day for St Helens 21, a late shower for Swansea 22 and White Mark looking at a partly cloudy day and 19. Turning to Monday now and showers about the west and far south, extending throughout from late morning with possible thunderstorms in the west and north. Tuesday, showers forecast for the west and northeast, clearing during the morning with showers extending to remaining areas in the afternoon. And Wednesday, showers mainly about the west and north, falling as snow above 900 metres in the west. Perth tomorrow looking at a fine day with a top of 22, Darwin 33, 27 in Brisbane, rain developing in Sydney 29, rain also on the way for Canberra 23 in Melbourne and Adelaide a morning shower in 21 degrees. And currently it's 16 in Hobart, 15 in Launceston, 14 in Devonport and Rachel shower of two for most areas tomorrow with more showers on the way this week. Certainly looks that way. Thank you so much for that, Laura. Well, that's all your news for now. Thanks for joining us. Have a great evening. Good night.